Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about Apache Scoop tool that is part of Hadoop ecosystem. Uh, primarily, this video I'm going in this video I'm going to concentrate on uh, how on few tools uh, that is meant for importing data. In my previous tutorial, we learned about different flags uh, or different ways of uh, importing data. Now we are going to discuss about this that is uh, importing data into Hive that is a part of uh, this is also a tool a data warehousing tool that is part of Hadoop ecosystem uh, we are going to see that importing data into Hive and next one is uh, exporting of data exporting of data from HDFS to MySQL or some RDBMS systems we are going to see that so here we are having two different flavors of importing data into Hive first one is we can make use of this create Hive table flag and next one is uh, Hive import Hive hyphen import both these are uh, this one is a different uh, this one is a separate flag or a separate uh, tool and this one is this flag is part of a hive import uh, sorry a scoop import tool so let us see first about these two things and later on we can discuss about this exporting of data to H uh, to mysql or any rdbms from hdfs now let us discuss about this create hive table so when we use this create hive table and when we go for this hive import table let us discuss that scenario now if the data is already imported uh, to the hdfs uh, file system using scoop tool and we would like to place the retrieve data or we would like to export that data from hdfs to hive then we can make use of this uh, table uh, create hive table command and we would like to create a hive table based on the schema of the table that is resided on rdbms system i mean to say i would like to create a table that is based on the schema that is based on the table that is already exist in mysql in this case so this is the case uh, this is the scenario where we can use uh, hive create hive table so once again i am repeating uh, this is the scenario where we use uh, this option first one is i already imported table data into hdfs system in hdfs file system and i would like to import this uh, data i mean the data that is available on hdfs to hive table but the hive table doesn't exist already and i would like to create the schema in hive uh, in hive that matches the schema of a table that is available in rdbms that is in in this case mysql so this is the case where we use uh, this create hive table option this is just for creating the schema of the table in hive using the schema that is available or that matches with the schema in mysql so in this case we use that and we would like we and we will load the data from hdfs to the table created using this tool later on so anyway i will explain that one practically uh, let me use this tool create hive tool first see here i am using this uh, command line interface to interact with the uh, uh, hdfs or anything else we can just use this command line interface uh, first what i am doing here is i am importing table data here uh, let me open one more tab for mysql now i am connecting to mysql using a database i am connecting to the database called scoop so the database is available I, uh, here i am using the table called employee and uh, these are the records available in this so here what i am going to do is first i will i will import this data using scoop import tool into hdfs then later on i will make use of this tool 
to create the table in Hive that matches the schema of this employee table. Then later on, I will load the original data from HDFS into a Hive table that got created with this command. So first step what I am going to do is first I am creating, uh, sorry, I am importing these records into HDFS. I am going to do that for this here. I am making use of uh, option. This is scoop tool. Uh, let me open this uh, scoop import file. Let me check my present working directory. Yes, yes scoop import command is available. Cat scoop import dot txt. See here inside this text file, I have written uh, this import command to import. Uh, table from these are the right you all we know these are the common properties for uh, importing table using scoop that's why I have written instead of retyping inside a text file and I would like to supply this text file name to the scoop tool to dynamically generate the scoop command so here I am making use of this options file followed by scoop import and here I am making use of the table uh, flag saying <coughs> to represent which table I am importing so here I am making use of that table after that warehouse directory I would like to place this uh, imported data in a target directory of my own choice instead of uh, HDFS base directory and here I am controlling the parallelism I mean uh, the number of map tasks to be executed internally to one so prompts for the password and I am here typing for the password so the data will come on come into this directory called scoop data sorry into this scoop data into this directory the highlighted one here we can see that using these let me f finish this yes we have got finally 13 records to HDFS and now we are uh, seeing this uh, data available using this who HUE who a big data UI so here I am refreshing in this browser so here if you observe this is the Cloudera folder inside I have got this scoop data and employee and inside the files were placed after executing the job and this is the data I have fetched using this uh, import tool. Now the first step is over. So next as part of my next step what I am going to do is I will create a scoop uh, sorry. I will create a table in default database of Hive. I am going to do that here with the help of, as I said to you earlier, uh, with the help of uh, this create Hive table. I am creating a table in Scoop because I already imported data to HDFS and I would like to load the data and I want to create a table in Hive to load the data into it. And the schema of this table I am going to create is matching with the database table that is already available in my SQL. That is why I am making use of this command. So create, create hive table. This is the command. Here I am specifying as usual the common properties, common arguments for this scoop command are uh, connect JDBC colon MySQL colon localhost and from where we are importing I mean where our source table uh, that is having the schema is resided is in this scoop database that's why I have used that and the username for authentication purpose I am using is root and this is, root is not having password that is why password flag is optional and here I need to specify the table I am based on this table I am creating the schema in hive 
so here i am specifying the table name using this table flag and make using this backslash to type or to continue the command in next line and next thing is uh, hive table and i would like to give my own name to the table that is going to create with the help of this command in hive i would like to give that emps means uh, employees here i am giving so here i am hitting the enter key see here schema got created for us after successfully execution of this command schema will be created for us in this uh, in the default uh, database of hive so let us these are the tables at the moment available in the default database of hive and now let us view the tables available see here emps got created the table got created when we run this command scoop create hive table command so the table got created and if you observe the schema using this command dase similar to the commands here in hive similar to mysql commands uh, the table name is emps see here uh, employee id name so here three columns got created and if we uh, if we see the employee table in the mysql database here also we have got these three columns and the data types for these columns are converted according to hive data types at the time of creating the schema so this is how the uh, table got created and there is no data in it as i said to you as i said earlier uh, the thing is that is the big difference at that if the data already imported and we would like to export that data to a hive table and the table is not already exist in hive and the table we are going to create is uh, the schema i mean the schema is going to match with the uh, schema of database table that is already exist so in this case we are making use of this command so let us retrieve the records from this emps table there is no data right so let us load the data load data in path this is the command we use to load data from hdfs to hive table this is the default user scoop data is the our warehouse directory we have placed in this warehouse directory and employee is the table name and this is the part m this is the place where original data got resided and into which table we are loading in hive that is the thing we need to specify into table emps see here loading data so the data has been loaded and if we retrieve we will see the records from this employee sorry emps table if you observe you will get all null values here yeah see here all null values because uh, all the rows in this text file how these uh, we can say this one is a single record right so how these records got so are separated and how these lines are formatted i mean to say here how these fields we can say this is a single column second column and third column how these fields are separated and we need to specify and how these rows got formatted we need to specify these two things at the time of importing the sorry at the time of creating the table using this scoop command but we haven't specified those things in this in this command that's why null data got loaded so because we need to specify at the time of creating the table what are the uh, delimiters for the fields and what are how the rows got formatted in your file that is resided on hdfs so we need to specify but we haven't specified that's why here we have got these null values so to solve this problem what we need to do is we need to drop this table in hive the table got dropped sorry 
there is no table see there is no table EMPS and here I am specifying uh, before using this command once again I need to re-import the data to the tool see here only part m file has been moved because when we load data into into a hive table that will be deleted i mean the file the source file where the data resided will be deleted so that is the thing is out of context that's why i'm ignoring otherwise i can explain that as well uh, i am deleting and once again i use the import command to import data into hdfs Data is being imported. Importing. Yes, we have got these thirteen records. Uh, let us view them. Boy, part M file. Uh, those are the records. And here again, I am making use of this create hive table EMPS, and then here I am making use of different flags to specify how the fields got uh, delimited or and rows got formatted. So, here I will specify those things here. So, by default, I am making use of this flag called MySQL delimiters. hitting the enter key so it means fields got separated with comma and uh, lines got formatted with uh, slash and character new line character so that is the default meaning when we use this mysql delimiter So table got created in Hive EMPS. There is no data in this EMPS and schema is same as the table that is available in MySQL. And now I am loading the data. Load data in path user cloud era scoop data. slash part m file and into table called employer sorry EMPS so the data has been loaded and let's retrieve the records so this time we have got so here we have specified how the data on HDFS got formatted so these are the things we have specified and we have got the rows here so this is the case where we use uh, this flag called create hive table so once again i am repeating the data has been imported to hdfs and we would like to export that data to hive table and this hive table we are going to create i mean the schema matches with the database table that is already exist in a database so in this case only we make use of this create uh, hive table flag and the second is in reverse process and if there is no data in the hdfs file system and we would like to import the data and at the time of importing i mean to say while importing the data using scoop import uh, tool at the time itself i would like to create a table and I would like to load 
the data at the same time itself then in that case i make use of this hive import command so creation of table as well as loading the data so if we would like to go do these two things then we can make use of this hive import command sorry hive import flag we can make use of this flag now let us see that one practically here so let me check for the available tables in this uh, show tables yes there is a student table yes here we have got four records in this table and we would like to import these ta table data this these records and at the same time i would like to create a table in hive itself in hive i would like to create a table and at the time of creating uh, loading this data at the same time i need to load the data available in this student table so th for that purpose here i'm making use of this hive import uh, flag see here i'm making use of this options file scoop import and here table name is student right uh, no warehouse uh, directory no need of uh, these things because we are directly loading the data into a hive table that's why warehouse directory is not a sortable flag because it will be useful when we are trying to place the imported data in a directory of our own choice on hdfs so here i would like to provide hive table name as students table just added s yes. and the thing here is we need to use this hive import right so this is the thing we need to do and hit the enter key counts for the password and enter the password So from this logging information, I mean from this information, console information, we can, we will know a few things, we will come to know about few things that has been done by this uh, import tool. After finishing the job, I will explain those points, what the import tool has done internally. See here, loading, loading uploaded data into hive so this is the message we have got what is this uh, what does it mean if we think about that what does it mean yes we have the job got finished here see here first a java file uh, a jar file has been created and inside that a java file has got created in the present working directory where I am using this scoop command on local file system. So see here, I am using this ls to list the files. See here, student.java file has got created and it represents a single record in this MySQL table. So this class is used by scoop tool to represent this single record. And next thing we need to observe here is it has issued a select statement see here student underscore id so this is a primary key column in scoop terminology we can call this student underscore id as a split key so based on this split key it will try to find out what is the maximum uh, id and minimum id to fit to count to let the scoop tool import tool know how many records are available in this student table so that's why it has been executed this uh, select statement to come to know about the uh, maximum number of records available and to run this command as part of uh, every map task that has been executed to import the 
data so this is the thing done internally by the scoop tool after that what it has done is it has placed the imported data on hdfs first step that is the thing done internally by the scoop tool so after placing the data on hdfs the table got created in hive after creation of table the data has been loaded into the table that has got created in hive so this is the meaning of the statement and here if we observe as the last line loading the data to table see clearly it is saying with the database name the default is the database name and students is the, our table name and after that hive import completed so the process has been done and export directory is empty and removing it so this is the proof for us saying the data that has been fetched from uh, mysql has been placed on hdfs directory temporarily and that directory has got removed after exporting the data to a hive table so these are the things done by the scoop tool internally when we make use of this hive import so flag when we make use of this hive import uh, flag so this is the meaning and this is the difference between these two types of importing import uh, to flags to import data from mysql database or any rdbms systems to hive so these two are different flags here and now let us discuss about this uh, export of operation so in this also we have two different flavors first one is uh, inserting data into a table and next flavor is uh, updating data updating data to a table in our TBMS, we can say. So these two are different flavors at the time of while exporting data from HDFS to uh, RDBMS. Let us see that. So here we make use of uh, export tool to export data. It is similar to import tool, but it simply exports data from HDFS to MySQL. Or any RDBMS. That's the thing done internally. So the command seem uh, is like this. So scoop. What process we are doing? We are exporting data, right? And that is why we are making use of this export. And hyphen hyphen connect. These are the common properties for any import or export command. So connect JDBC colon MySQL colon slash local host slash database. Here is uh, sorry test directory test database i would like to use and username is scoop and the password for this is i would like to provide password dynamically that is why here i have used hyphen capital p and the table we would like to export data is table name here we need to specify table underscore name and we need to make use of this uh, flag called export hyphen dir representing export directory uh, we would like to provide the path where the data is available on hdfs so we would like to provide those details as a value to this export flag so this is the thing so instead of retyping these things i mean these connection properties we can say uh, connect connection string username password and the these things what I have done is I have written a file on my local file system that is called scoop export. So here I am. See here. Export hyphen hyphen connect. So here I enclosed these common commands in a text file and I would like to make use of this text file instead of retyping the command. So that is the thing I am going to do here. As usual options file. sorry scoop export and the table i am going to export into is uh, 
let me check in my database here the database i am making use of is a test but i think i mean i am using scoop database so anyway let me check out that yes scoop database let me move to test database and view the tables available in it yes student table and employee table and what is the data what about the data is it available no it has been removed okay i will reimport from test database sorry scoop database into hdfs from employee table and i will i will like export the same data what i have imported warehouse directory i can make use of warehouse directory is scoop data right so here what i am trying to do is here i am importing data from a table called student that is part of a scoop database and i would like to export the same data into this test dot student table because the schema is the same so we no need to worry about that so here i have got four records let us view student part time four records we have got so only three columns and at the same time here also three columns in this and the types are also same so that is the thing i am going to do here just i am changing to export the options file export table name is student and let us remove this warehouse directory because it is applicable only for the import tool so yeah everything is done and here i am uh, entering hitting the enter key something is wrong yeah we have missed this export directory right export hyphen dir so we need to provide the complete path on hdfs scoop data followed by student followed by uh, part m file right dot hyphen m hyphen five zeros because only one map task has executed previously You have see here four records were exported and let us see the contents from this table to store from student yes we have got the four records and let us see and let us so this is how we have inserted or we have exported data into this table so we have seen this first option inserting data into a table so next thing we are going to see is uh, updating so internally what happened when we run this scoop tool when we run this command is so what happened internally when we executed this command is an insert statement has been fired as part of a map task internally so an insert statement got executed on database and the data from the table take uh, from sorry from the file has been taken and it got inserted into the table so this is the thing uh, this is the thing done by the export tool internally so on uh, sorry one minute in database an insert statement has been executed so this is the thing insert into student 
values every time this statement blah 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 has been executed and now we are going to update the thing here is the data one moment this data whatever the data i mean the four records available in this student table i would like to update that these records that is the thing we are going to see next so in order to perform update operation we need to inform to the scoop tool a hey, scoop tool i am not performing an insertion operation uh, in the into onto a into a table instead i am going to update the rows or records available in, in the table so i would like in a table I, i would like to do that so here i can specify or i can tell to the scoop tool saying i am going to perform an update operation using this update hyphen key so this is the flag here plays a key role to tell to the scoop tool saying i am performing an update operation instead of insertion operation so this is the thing we need to perform update key followed by uh, based on which key we perform update operation obviously here primary key right so here we can perform we can mention or we can specify the primary key column or split column in scoop terminology so this is the thing we are going to do yeah let us see here course here i am changing the co course content csec yep. instead of these i would like to update this column so for that what i am going to do is think i have got student details dot txt i think there is no well yes yeah i have got it let us view the contents in it student details dot okay just i am editing this student details only four records available right so that's why i will remove the rest of the records removing the blank line i saved in this file and let us view yes course one course two and i would like to copy this file to hdfs here i am making use of this command to place this file from local file system to hdfs on to hdfs that is i so on sorry fs hyphen put 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 is the command to place a file on to hdfs uh, here i am going to place this student details dot txt right and the name also what name i can give let me check whether the file is already available with the same name any file yes no so i would like to provide the same name so let us see yes the file has been placed yeah we have got the same data and let us in, in uh, let us update the with this data using scoop export options opt options file right scoop options file followed by scoop export file and the table here i am performing going to export is student and export directory we need to specify right export directory and here i am making use of cloud era on hdfs based directory itself it is available that's why sorry student details dot txt file and as i said this is the flag going to tell the scoop export uh tool hey scoop tool uh, here i am performing an update operation instead of uh, 
insertion operation so update hyphen key this is the flag based on which column you would like to perform updation so we need to specify that as well so here based on the primary key in database terminology or split column so here this is split column is student id scoop job is running internally we have got error let us check that cannot export data please check Task tracker logs fail. What happened? Are synced. Okay. Let us we check the data how it has been formatted in this file. here the delimiter is is a tab not a comma that's why our export operation has been failed so again I'm going back to make changes Moving the file from HDFS. Here I am rerunning that export to tool or command. Yes, the data has been updated. So this is the success message. See here, this was the data when we exported for the first time. And when we rerun that export tool, this is the data in this course column because we have used this update hyphen key, right? So that is the indication that an update statement has been executed internally to update the records available in this student table so this is the thing done internally here so in, instead of uh, in, insert a statement this is the statement executed internally by a map task update student set course equal to so blah 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 by name so this is the thing done by the scoop tool I mean the export tool 
internally so apart from these tools we have few miscellaneous tools available uh, those are uh, let me list out those tools one such tool is eval to evaluate a sql language uh, queries that are compatible with uh, the database you are using next one is to know or to perform any uh, queries you can perform here uh, i'm making use of list hyphen databases next thing is list tables to know how many uh, any tables are available in a database so here these are the few miscellaneous tools we can see now hyphen hyphen evaluation tool right hyphen hyphen connect common properties and here I am making use of this query flag to represent our the query that is I am going to run here just I'm making use of this select statement simple select statement from the table name here I am specifying so this is the command an evaluation tool what's wrong with this let's check recognized argument user yeah we have given that is username not user the flag name is wrong that's why command has been failed see here here itself we have got the data from my sql database so if you want to know or if you have this kind of a requirement uh, then you can make use of this evaluation tool instead of for directly connecting to my sql database so sometimes this database is not available in real time so in, in that case you can make use of this evaluation tool to evaluate any SQL language command uh, that we are uh, making use of with this scoop tool so that is the thing we are we can perform with this evaluation tool and uh, the next tool here is list databases right so it is also similar a simple tool so instead of typing the command every time we can just modify this list hyphen databases so uh, these are the common right common properties so removing this query specific to evaluation so these are the databases available in mysql five databases so if you want to look if you want to have a look uh, about the tables then you can make use of this followed by here this is the database right it will display the list of tables available in this scoop database let us check from test database again same tables we will get and let us check from this mysql database Yes, these are the built-in tables that comes with the MySQL installation. So this is how we can experiment with the scoop uh, tool to perform importing and exporting of data and we can evaluate queries. So this is the ba basic uses, uses of the tools, I mean the scoop tool to communicate with uh, a database from Hadoop ecosystem. So this is the primary uses of scoop tool. Thank you. Thank you for watching.